So I wanted to do an experiment about uh, hierarchy with the kids, and mostly because I was thinking about um, how hierarchical systems really kind of bottleneck up at decision-making points where kind of the work of a lot of different people come together. Um, so, you know, you have a team, all their work gets channeled through a manager, and all the, m all the subsequent manager's works get channeled through a director, and all of the, d you know, different director's work gets channeled through a director general, and then the ADM has to deal with all the directors general, and then the deputy has to deal with all the different ADMs. So I was thinking, which way, what better way to kind of illustrate how um, hierarchy works than with marbles and uh, a good old friend, Marbleworks. And so the idea was I was going to build a hierarchical system out of Marbleworks, which is this right here. So this roughly looks like an org chart where your kind of your deputy is here, let's say, you've got a couple ADMs, you've got DGs, directors, and kind of, I ran out of marble works so it would be bigger, but um, you got kind of working level staff down here. And so the idea was to take a hierarchical system and basically turn it on its head and start to drop in marbles and see what happens at the bottom of the food chain. So essentially what I'm saying is that this is the piping of any organization, here's the work that needs to be done and kind of each point is a decision-making node, or you can think of it as a, as a decision-making person along in the organization. And so what I did was I built this, got a bunch of marbles, and then asked my kids to help me um, put the marbles in it as an experiment. And then I asked them a couple questions about um, what they thought about the experiment. Here's what happened. Ready? One, two, three. Some of them are hopping out, and we've got a bottleneck. Cole, do you want to try and come and unclog this? Come and try and come and unclog it, and see if it, you can fix it. Larkin, right, keep dropping marbles in. Is it hard or easy to do? Um, okay, now look up here. You unclogged it, but did this start coming down? So there's something else blocking everything. I can't even get it all down. Can you get it down? No way. Eh? There's a marble stuck in there somewhere. Okay, stop for a sec. Stop for a sec. You did a great job, guys. You did a great job. What happens when you put the big marble in? Um, it gets all clogged up. What happens when we put all these in afterwards? Um, we can't go through because it's all clogged. The big marbles clogging it all up. Okay. Then the little marbles can't go down. So what happens when you pull the big marble out? All of them can go down because there's no more clog. But is there a clog just beside it? Yep. So even if you get rid of the big one, there's still a clog. There's still a clog. Do you think it's easy or hard for the marbles to move around? Hard. Hard. If you're someone trying to move marbles, are you happy or are you sad? <laughs> no. Are you having fun or are you frustrated because your marbles aren't going anywhere? I'm a bit frustrated. Yeah? Yeah. Because you want to move the marbles, right? Yeah. So is this kind of a system fun to play with if the marbles don't go anywhere? No. How important is fun when you're trying to move marbles around? <laughs> that they don't always get clogged up. Right. But is it having fun an important part? Yeah. You wouldn't really want to play or stick around with the toy if we weren't having fun, would you? No. No? You'd go on to another, play with something else? Yeah. Yeah? How long do you think you'd last um, while you were frustrated with the marbles not going anywhere? A little bit or a long time? Um, a bit. A little bit? I would try to, I'll try, I would try to help it get unstuck. Mm-hmm. And if that didn't work, then I would go and play with something else. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's a pretty good answer. Thank you.